You're toast, buddy! You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. <laughs> So I've been watching her, and I think it's about time this is said. The woman's lying. The woman is not a Christian. There's some rumors going around that she's a former prostitute, and maybe she played around with the idea of Christianity. Hey, 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 Bert Toast, I know me and you got off on the wrong, on, on the wrong foot and whatnot, but I gotta give you some of that strudel. Mm. Burnt Toast. Mm. Call me Burnt Toast. Call me. Little girls like Burnt Toast who needs to grow up and enter puberty. You know what I mean? What about people like Burnt Toast, the little girl who needs to grow up? Right, Burnt Toast? Let me walk your car to street, Burnt Toast. Okay? Toast knows she wants some of that people strudel. She knows it. Yeah. I'll bake you some later when you give me a call. Burnt Toast gets exposed into the ground. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Smells like rotten fish, too. And I'm going to prove it. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. And I'm going to prove it. So, so anyway, Burnt Toast, I think me and you got off on the wrong foot. I'm going to give you a second chance to prove yourself, all right? She, she, she's a she's a huge, huge whore. Burnt toes. She is a whore. Burnt toes. She is a whore. Burnt toes. She is a whore. And I'm going and to I'm clean it. Remember, there's a big difference between a righteous judgment and Satan slandering the saints. I, I would never date Burnt Toast. I would never want to conversate with Burnt Toast. I think Burnt Toast is a jerk. I know for a fact that I, I'm really buying into the idea that Burnt Toast is only about maybe 15 or 16 years old. Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. How is a Christian supposed to behave? I'm just curious. How is a Christian supposed to behave? What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. What's up? Hope you guys had a great weekend. <laughs> uh, wow. So first off, happy birthday to Glitter Bomb. You were in here earlier and I saw you say that you had a birthday today. So happy birthday, Glitter Bomb. Shout out to you. And also, I think it was Wonderlust says that she's been sick in the hospital and I hope you get better. I don't remember if you said you were home yet, but I hope I put a smile on your face at the very least. So you guys, what's up? How's everybody doing today? What's up? Cool. Okay. So I wanted to get into this because obviously I've been, I've been like, Oh, I'm going to do this. Like the, the stream that she did where she was screaming, fuck you and fuck you. Like it was so amazing. I was like, Oh, great. Delicious. And of course, I knew that she was going to take it down, but it's all good because there were a whole bunch of people who were able to record it. Long story short, I had myself a copy and it's really like the first, I want to say like first like 35 minutes of it. Hey, what's up, Headstones? There's like the first like 30 minutes of it was like extra salty. And I figured we review that because uh, Little Miss Upsetty Betty, salty bullhorn here put it on private at first because I clicked on it. So did multiple other people and it said private. And then it was like very shortly after that, it was put behind a $50 paywall. Benny, you can't do that. <laughs> the judge says evidence preservation. You ought to look that up, Miss Legal Expert. So we're going to review that today. And then I found a clip of a stream she did the very next day. 
And it's not something that I've seen anyone else mention. And I just sort of caught it by accident. I was just kind of listening to the stream as I was working. And I was like, hold up. And I just stopped what I was doing. And I went back and I listened to it like three or four times. And I was like, I cannot believe she just said that. So I will also be playing that for you guys because she's talking about you. She's talking about me. She's talking about all of her, quote, haters. And what she said was pretty disgusting. So, and what better way to expose someone to, oh, they changed StreamYard. Always auto share audio. Okay, well, hopefully this works. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't tell you if it's actually shared or not. But yes, uh, I will share that with you. And I hope that more people do clips of that clip that I'm going to play later. But this is the one that she put private and then very quickly behind a $50 paywall. As far as I know, before I started this live, it's still behind a $50 paywall. I'm like, Benny, you're not Malago Lightly. So that, that shit don't work with you. <laughs> so, okay. Boo sheets. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. BHB is shown in the Murdoch documentary second season. Yeah, you can hear her voice. I was actually listening to the first episode of that. Was it last night? You can hear her voice for like two seconds, but they don't actually show her. Thank God. <laughs> if, if only Netflix knew. <laughs> I'm not understanding why BHB is not allowed to put videos behind a paywall, but Queen Bee can. I'm not under the impression that Queen Bee is putting stuff behind a paywall. If she is, that that's, that's something that the lawyer, I guess, is going to address. Not sure. But yeah, she's not supposed to be hiding things, considering she's the one that's suing Queen Bee. Oh, she has? Okay. Um, if you could send me the links to that, I will look into it. Thank you so much. I saw her face and she looked ridiculous. <laughs> she sure did. It actually shows her talking about a turtle lamp. Oh, really? Maybe I just haven't gotten to that episode yet. Yikes. Is it a paywall or members only? Same thing. Same thing. It's members. She put it on members only, but it's it's the same thing. It's behind a paywall. So you have to pay $50 or it's $49.99 for her highest tiered membership in order to get it. So it's same thing. Semantics, I guess. So, yes. So we're going to get into this and this is this is crazy. Her volume is all over the place. I tried to fix it, but again, she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing with all of this equipment, so bear with me. Okay, Crime News. Thank you so much. It's a member for 2 months. Thank you. Uh Brit Focus member for 7 months and Linky Tour member for 1 month. Thank you guys so much. Sure works. Okay. Sorry guys. Okay. So, sorry, I, I need to set this up. So, like, the first chunk of the stream, like, she did an intro and everything, but the first chunk, she was muted, and she's just sitting there talking and talking, and the audience is, like, muted, no sound for, like, minutes. So, I, I cut that part out. I agree. I agree, Betty. Why are you so... Uh, who have been here? Okay. So, I know you were already in somebody else's. Um, don't really care. I don't know why my mods have not banned this person yet. <laughs> Just curious. Corky Carlotta, welcome to the Dumpster Fire. Thank you so much. Yep, member for two months. Thank you. Chap Tass, member for six months. Thank you. It's isn't evidence preservation only that you can't delete. So as long as it's still available under paywall, it's still okay. That's a great question. And I don't know. So I will definitely look into that for sure. Uh, Sama two member for five months. Thank you so much. I don't want that garbage in here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll start over. So Layla Santanella, you guys can all hear me now. We have sound now. Oh, sound good. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't even realize I wasn't even in my comment section and I seen Karen, um, text me and I always know when I'm in a show and somebody texts me, it's most likely audio issues. <laughs> so Everything with Layla Santanello, I just want to re uh, bring up uh, just again. Good good evening, everybody. I just literally made it home. I just dumped myself into the living room. and 
So her sound does cut off every once in a while because she has terrible connection. This is after she claims she spent a ton of money upgrading her internet. So I don't know what her issue is, but it sounds like a connectivity thing. More than likely, she just didn't do something correctly or she's doing something that is bottlenecking her her network. So who knows what it is? She doesn't read instructions. So, you know, uh, Bernadette, remember for 19 months. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, Beach Life? Thanks to everyone. Yes, blank screen. So yes, blank screen has the entire, like, I think it's like an hour and some odd minutes stream. So if you want to watch the whole thing, go to his channel because he actually premiered it <laughs> after she put it behind a paywall. So that's cool. There was a lot of people that recorded it. Speaking of shout out to the subscriber who recorded it, who sent it to me. There was actually a couple of y'all who did. So shout out to you guys. Also, shout out to the person who made my thumbnail. Um, I'm not sure if they want to be, you know, their name or whatever, shout it out. But I add a couple of things to the thumbnail, but it was originally their idea. So I thought it was so amazing. I was like, oh, my God, this is so great. Thank you so much. So just want to give you guys props because you guys are amazing. Yeah, I mean, Jackie, remember for eight months here with my slow cooker chili. Entertain me. Ugh. That sounds really good, actually. I set up the computer and I just came live. It's going to be glitching. I don't know what is going on with the internet, but I can see my internet's going on. Let me just refresh. That's the only thing I literally can do at this moment, and I'll be right back. She likes the word literally. <laughs> she says it a lot. And she doesn't seem to understand the difference between figuratively and literally, because she says literally about things that don't make sense. But, you know, just a little thing. Potato doppelganger. All right. Welcome to the dumpster fire. <laughs> she comes back. Now I want chili. Yeah, me too. Betty is having to put technical All right, difficulty. Uh, Betty is a technical difficulty. Uh, as best as going get. I just re I, I off and it just dropped it again. So. I literally have no idea what is going on with the internet. I'll have to um, refresh it. I haven't been here for days. I literally just walked in um, to the house and got set up because some things, you know, issues happened that I found out about um, when I was uh, on the way home today. And so I'm just, do I have any? So this was the first slide. She said she found out and she's about to talk about Bash. Okay. About Bash going down there and meeting her and all that stuff. Born Betty here starts to lie and say, well, I just found out about it. And I just found out that Bash was down there. Like, I just found out today on my ride home. But then later, I don't remember if it's in this stream or the stream in the next day, she admits that her mods actually warned her ahead of time that Bash was thinking about going down and meeting her. So I think it's pretty interesting that she's now kind of trying to, to retcon this whole situation. Mods in here. I want to make sure I got some mods in here because we got, I don't, I'm not kind of understanding why we're, we've got some things going on here. And people aren't getting, updated. I don't want anything uh, going on in here while I'm speaking. They can have their piece. They can make comments. They can go do their own channel. I, don't, I really don't care. What they do. I really don't care. I'm over it. So here's the situation. I know people think that because they talk about me, I know who they are. I, I do not. Even that little Miss Know-It-All, I, I have no earthly idea, um, you know, what she talks about. I, I don't care. I very rarely go over there. I very rarely watch. I, I, when people, you can ask anybody and everybody, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, you can ask anybody, everybody, um, any one of my mods. They don't send me stuff anymore. They. So I find this interesting because she's constantly talking about, oh, this person said that and oh, this person over here said this over here. Well, how does she know if she's not watching? And then I thought, okay, well, maybe her mods are sending her stuff. Well, here she is saying that her mods don't even send her stuff anymore. I was like, okay. Not to mention the fact that she has said so many times that she knows who all of her haters are and she's going to sue all of us. It's going to be the year of lol suits. And then here she's saying she doesn't know who any of us are. Okay. All right. 
Lisa, member for four months. Thank you so much. I take it that you're Miss Know-It-All. I don't know if she's talking about me or headstones. At this point, uh, she seems to be kind of hung up on headstones for a while. It's it, it kind of happened. She goes in like these cycles where for a while, all she talked about was the glare. And then all she talked about was Queen Bee. And then all she talked about was me and then blank screen, blank screen, blank screen. And then now it's back to uh, Emmy. And then I'm sure that after she's done talking about Headstone, she's going to talk about somebody else again. It seems to be kind of like her cycle. They literally don't send, they, they very rarely, I should say, very rarely anymore do they send me anything. And they do that because I've asked them not to. I don't want to see it. It's 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 absolutely um, worthless to watch. It's It does nothing to help any case. It's, it, it makes them feel good to bash somebody. They're bullies. I don't know what they <laughs> You guys want to support them, support them. I don't care. So if you haven't caught on, her definition of bully is very different than the actual definition of bully. In her mind, if you give criticism, if you have a dissenting opinion, if you have a different perspective, different belief, different fill in the blank, you're a bully. You're harassing, you're stalking, you're evil, you're all of the bad things, all of the things. Thank you, Tony D. I appreciate that. Happy to be with you, Toasty. Peeps this evening. I literally love y'all. I see what you did there. Thank you so much. But going to the um, whole bash situation, I do want to address it. People think I won't address it. I always address certain situations. First of all, nothing happened out there. Everybody was utmost respectful and everything like that. Do I know bash? I've never heard that lady's name in my life until like 24, 48 hours ago. Had no clue who she was, never heard of her, didn't hear her voice, don't watch her, don't watch half the crap that, that is on YouTube. I really don't. Occasionally, somebody will send me something, I'll look at it, I may go over there and comment, I may just move on, okay? So so all these haters out there that talk, I, I don't know you, don't feel like you know me, I don't know who the hell you are, I really don't give a crap who you are. <laughs> what I can tell you is that we had a search and these ladies took time out of their day and came out there to search. And you're not talking about spring chickens, okay? Betty, you always address every situation more than once. That is correct. Just like she said she wasn't going to talk about court, and then she did over and over and over again. You're not talking about spring chickens came out here, but you know what? We're welcoming of all in, in every help when we're on the search. There's nothing major about this. There's there's no major um, a certificate or degree you need to walk and look on a ground. There's none. We're not doing grid search. We're not looking for tiny molecules. We're not looking for little pieces of evidence. We're looking for a big person. That's true, Rain Answer. Oh, she doesn't have black binders on all of the haters. Thank you for reminding me because she has said that in the past. Remember that iconic thumbnail that pretty much everybody made from this picture where she was holding up the black binder saying, I've got a binder of all of my haters. And then here she's like, oh, I don't know anything about them. Isn't that funny? How she just like, you know, lies. A human being. Okay. <laughs> we should be able to see. That's what we're looking for. We, we get in there. Okay. That's a search. So we had three beautiful ladies come out there and help us search. We had more eyes on the ground. We were able to find more stuff. We were able to go locate that, that stuff. We were able to determine that it had nothing to do with her or, or something completely different. Um, she threw Doug live from Northport under the bus today. He's mad. Oh, I guess I must have missed that. Hmm. This illusion that we don't do real searches. It's not surprising, though. <laughs> like, it's not surprising at all. She turns on everybody, so. Is, is ridiculous. This illusion that I put on some show for this woman I didn't even know that was going to be out there. Honestly, I, I we hear every single time we go out to a case, you guys watch this live every single day. You know I'm not lying. I don't need to show freaking receipts. Go look it up. Bullhorn Betty. Bullhorn Betty. Bullhorn Betty. That's all you have to look up, right? These people threaten us every single time we go into a, a community, go in to do a search, go in to pass out flyers. Something up there. We hear it all the time. We don't even listen to it anymore. 
I love how she is like, oh, I always show receipts. And then she's like, here, I don't have to show receipts. I'm just going to say a bunch of things. And then I actually pull up actual proof. Like when she says that all of her quote haters, which myself is included in that, I guess. And a lot of you who are content creators that put out clips, she will say, oh, you guys threaten me every time I go out. I'm sorry, what? Like, where's your proof of that? And that's why I laugh when like her mods who, you know, according to Bull and Betty, don't ever engage with the haters are constantly leaving comments on my channel. And they'll be like, you know, why are you threatening Bullhorn Betty? And I'm just like, show me the timestamp. And then it's like crickets. <laughs> because I don't do that. It's just not happening. The way we deal with it is, is we just say, if it happens, we'll deal with it as it comes. Okay. So when Bash, when I, and, and as soon as I got there, somebody said that the Bash was being planted in this search. I'm like, well, I don't care who comes out to search as long as there's no BS with it right? I don't care who comes out. Haters all, I don't care. If you guys are there without the BS and the pet crap, you come out and search. Everybody done back. I don't know what part of that you don't understand. So, yes. Yeah, so she's saying the very thing that all of you guys in the chat are saying right now and that she invites her quote haters to places where she is. Here's my opinion. And I've said this many times before. This is just my opinion. Don't take the bait. Because anybody who does show up, she's going to dox you. And you're potentially looking at a future lawsuit. I'm just saying, like, that has been her track record. And so that's the best predictor of her future. Um, but I'm a nice person. People are like, <laughs> well, you come on here and you're this, that. Well, let's put this in perspective. You tell me how she's good you would nice feel person. every time you come on. To Somebody who doxes children. Who says racist things who grips, who screams and yells at a, as a, at, in a residential area. That's a nice person. I'm sorry, but no, there is nothing on this planet that is ever going to make me believe that she is a nice person ever. Your show and you are attacked every single day for two freaking years. I, I just want to know how, how your behavior would be because all these people that talk about my behavior have not been subjected to the crap that they subject me to, first and foremost. So I'm sorry if I'm not warm and bubbly for you. Well, here's the thing, Betty. Um, the people, I, I will, you know what? I'm only going to speak for myself. I'm not screaming through a bullhorn heckling in front of someone's residential home. Never done that. Will never do that. We'll never think that that's remotely okay or appropriate or helpful in any manner. So because I'm not doing that, I don't expect to get the flack that you're getting. If I ever were to do that, every single channel that were to come at me at that point, I would deserve it because that's deplorable behavior. And she likes to hide behind, well, I was protesting. No, you weren't. That's not protesting. You were heckling. Okay. You know, but at the end of the day, you don't know me. What you get to see on here is me for two hours, every single day, who I am, the real Betty, the one that everybody does not want to see is actually a nice person that really likes to help people. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous how much she's lying right now. Because in previous streams, she's talked about how what you see is what you get. I'm not fake. The Bullhorn Betty on my channel is the same Bullhorn Betty you're going to get in real life. How many times has she said that? I've reviewed her saying that on this channel. So many people have. Now she's saying, oh, actually, uh, this Billy Badass that I, I am on the internet is just a character that I play. And I'm really a different person in real life. Well, that also doesn't add up because the, the, the nasty, dirty, vile stuff that she's done to families behind the scenes when she's not on her YouTube channel is just as bad, if not worse, than what she does on her YouTube channel. You're not making sense, Betty. And no matter what you say to people, they will not believe it. I had no idea that was fashion. I can honestly tell you that. 
we got an inkling that she was there. I call it, you guys know. And this is when she starts tripping up on her words because she can't keep her lie straight. First it was, I had no idea who Bash was. Then it was, oh, I, as soon as I got there, I asked which one of you are Bash. First it was, oh, I didn't know uh, Bash was going to be there until after I already left. I was driving home and then I found out that Bash was there. But then before that, she said, oh, one of my mods contacted me prior to getting there that Bash was going to get there and probably show up, which is why when she was there and these three or four women showed up, she said, which one of you are Bash? Why would she have said that if she had not, in fact, gotten a heads up from one of her mods that Bash was probably going to show up? It's not it's not adding up, Betty. Thank you, Wanderlust, th for the super sticker. I hope you're feeling okay. That's not being authentic or genuine when you do that. That's correct. In her own words and actions that are streamed by herself. <laughs> I mean, right. She really is her worst enemy. Me, I'm... I, 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 I'm, I'm just straight up as you can be. So as soon as I'm the back to be there, the first thing I said is, are you bash? Are any of, and I didn't say, are you bash? I said, are any of you bash? See, there you go. Why would you say, are any of you bash when you didn't know she was even going to show up? When you didn't know who she was and it was not even a thing that you knew about until after you were coming home. But all three of them are like, no. So I'm like, Okay, well, thanks for coming to the search. Now, what I really have a problem with people thinking that just because Bash said that she was she was Bash, like she would have told me she was Bash, everybody thinks it would turn into an S show. No, it doesn't. And um, I I have a dis I disagree with that. I think that if Bash would have been like, yeah, yo, I'm Bash, the tragedy pimps on YouTube, Bullhorn Betty would have freaked out. She probably wouldn't have gotten like physically violent or anything, but internally she would have freaked out. She'd be like getting a restraining order. She'd be like, this person's stalking me. I mean, even now she's talking about how Bash stalked her by showing up. So I, I don't believe that somehow things would have been the same, <clears throat> excuse me, if Bash had been like, yeah, what's up on Bash? Our conversation would have been different. Because my conversation to Bash, had she told me she was Bash, is I would have pulled her aside and say, look, this is not the time or the place for bullshit. If you want to help search, I welcome your help. Exactly, Britt Focus. She would have gotten her license plate. Oh, that would have not been the only thing that she grabbed. She would have grabbed her license plate. She would have been doxxed before Bash even got home. Bash will probably end up being doxxed. And I hate saying that, but this is, this is Bullhorn Betty. This is what happens when Bullhorn Betty has the opportunity to see you in person. And I hate that for Bash. And I hope it doesn't happen. Truly, Bash, if you're listening to this, I feel really bad for you. And I don't want that to happen. But I'm saying this as a warning to other people that even think it may be, you know, for, well, for whatever reason that you may have to want to show up and actually take the bait and, and meet her in person, it is not going to go well. Even if you think it went well, in the end, Betty is going to keep that in her little pocket. And then later when you piss her off or she's in some type of mood or whatever, somebody pees in her cornflakes, whatever, she's going to pull that card right back out and be like, you know what? I feel like doxing somebody today. And that's exactly what she's going to do. But if you're coming here for to bring, to, to bring drama, this ain't place isn't the time. That would have been how the conversation would have been. This whole crazy thing, the only people that stir up the S show, as you see when we come back, like I found out in, in South Carolina on my way back here, literally like seven hours ago, that Bash was truly a woman that was in that group. Now, I'm a little disappointed that she misrepresented who she was. Um, but I can honestly say, I, I, had, I, I thought she was another person out to, to look. She was helpful. Um, she was nice. Uh, I don't know what else you want me to say about it. it, it the, the search went on. We were there. She, she was with us the whole entire time. I will say this. I'm glad that nothing bad happened. I'm glad that Bash had a good time. Um, I, I still think it's incredibly risky. And if anybody ever came to me and said, hey, I'm thinking about doing this, I would be like, nope. 
just don't even entertain the idea. But that's my opinion. Um, pulling her aside would be drama. Uh, has she turned on Olivia yet? No, not that I know of. I think that she still sees Olivia as a way to be associated with someone who's doing well, who being successful. <laughs> so I think that something major would happen before she would disavow Olivia. When she left was when Jen pulled up. Jen was pulling up. We turned the whole the whole crew around and was heading back to Jen because we were going to start changing our search um, area. And so as we were going up to meet Jen, that's when, um, I guess, Bash, I, I can't even remember what her, what she told me her name was um, out there. I remember one was Angie, and I, I, I literally, I can't remember. I'm so exhausted. But all I can say is that everybody was really nice and friendly, that the search, you know, and we're looking for a needle in the haystack. Did we clear some areas? Yes. Did we do a lot of work, a lot of walking? Yes. Is there a way to see how many people actually paid $50 for this? Uh, no, the only, I don't even think that Bullhorn Betty would be able to figure that out because she wouldn't be able to know who were just members becoming members and who were doing it just to get it. But honestly, there were so many people that recorded it live. I don't know if anybody needed to pay for the membership because once it was recorded live and it was sent out to everybody, it's like, well, I mean, there's no point in buying the membership. I would never give her a dime. I've never given her a dime, would never, will never. So if I don't record it or somebody else doesn't record it, oh, well, it's just gone, I think. Been dreaming of for three months, evening at Toast and chat. Thank you so much. Queen Bella, welcome to the Dumpster Fire. Um, we were very fortunate that the weather was not like 96 and 97 degrees where you've got, you're so hot. You got literally sweat just dripping in your eyeball burning. Um, I got scraped up a little bit in some of the briars and bushes, um, you know, searching because if we saw something, you know, <laughs> Olivia. Oh, literally Davis fan, the $50 paywall is just a front for her wig fun. Oh my God. For myself that went and checked it, you know, we didn't want anybody getting injured or hurt or anything. And we were equipped to, to go over there and check <laughs> and whatnot. So every I started downing a shot every time she said, literally, I'm going to have to call in tomorrow. Yeah, you might be dead. So you probably should stop. The thing that we did was map. Um, I've got to say, um, after she left and we moved our search, well, we didn't really move our search area. We went back on the way we, went, we just went further. And we kind of had a lead to guide us to a specific area. And so we ended up like Jen, it was um, Sonia, uh, the, the two other ladies that were with us, the, 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 the brush was too dense, couldn't through it. So they went back in their car, to their car and waited for us, which they waited for us. I want to say they waited for us for like an hour and a half because we were out there for at least another hour and a half to two hours after, um, I guess, bash um, after she left. And so we cut through all of these bushes. I she says literally almost as much as Amberlynn Reed. You know what? That's probably true, actually, come to think of it. Falling in a hole. I mean, it wasn't too big, but it was big enough for my freaking front of my shoe. Oh, that could have been a bad situation. I could have broke my leg, but. She's always complaining of how she was hurt searching. I mean, yeah, it's it's really weird because there's other people in my chats that are actually part of search and rescue, like legit searches where they know that they're doing it the right way, involved in law enforcement and the family. Uh, no, Nobody's going to get filmed. N there's no filming and all that. Just, you know, preservation of things if they find something nobody's going to be hindering an investigation all that kind of stuff and it's just it's wild to hear the way that they speak about searches versus the way that she speaks about it. it's always about her uh i don't remember if it was in this stream or another one recently but she was talking with her mother and they she was going on and on about how oh my gosh you know these these uh these searches they they take out they take out of my my car just to get there and they they take a lot out of my body and i'm just like it's not about you though like it's like it's like all you hear is her complaining about the stickers scratching her legs or how hot it was or how she almost broke her leg stepping in a hole or whatever and it's like 
do you not have anything to say that's positive outside of you complaining? What's up? I'm sorry, Wilson. 17, uh, 2017 being 20 or 30 years ago, Betty apparently graduated from the Emo Hollingworth School of How to Math. I tend to agree with that. Yes. And if you don't know what he's talking about, I did a poll on my community tab post today because she said in a stream that 2017 is 20 or 30 years ago. Right. If you're volunteering for a search, you're doing it from your heart. I've never heard a volunteer complain. Me either. Me either. They do it because they actually want to, and they're not trying to make content out of it. Just saying. Great one. Gifted 10 memberships. Thank you so much. LaRue. Literally Davis fam. Wise Angel. Oh, my Lanta. Winter's coming. The Real Sunflower. Nikki Marie. Sun. I hate it when it, goes, when it does that. Sunnyside. Sav. A U. Uh, Truth Hurts, Sofla Mama, and yeah, thank you so much. Welcome to the Dumpster Fire. Uh, thank God, no injuries or anything like that outside of a few scratches and bruises. Um, but, you know, the searches are expected. And, you know, this whole thing about me complaining, you if you've never searched in 96 degree weather, don't sit there. It's not like stop searching because I'm hot or it, it's exhausting. Until you've been out there walking four freaking miles for four hours and people are four, four miles in four. Yes. How long do you think it takes to thoroughly search a mile? It's definitely not done in 10 minutes. You know, I'm that's exactly what, a perfect example of what I just talked about. How many people involved in search and rescue would ever say something like that? I've never heard it. I'm kind a little bitter over being lied to a little bit but you know at the end of the day um, I'm glad she came out I'm glad she was able to help I feel really bad for her because I, I, I was listening and they had her crying like they just totally slammed her for saying one kind thing about me and you wonder why people have so many horrible things to say about me because if they don't they get jumped on they get freaking just mauled to pieces so this is Betty uh, creating lots of straw man just to add into the drama in the hopes that somehow Bash will be her new bestie, which I don't think is the case. Uh, Bash has already said that she's not Betty's friend, blah, blah, blah. So this is just Betty being an opportunist. Let's see. She is never dressed appropriately or properly prepared for any searching. No, she is not. I just, I don't, I don't get it, but she doesn't care. And like I said in my last stream, I think this is one of the many reasons why she won't actually join a legit search. One, she doesn't want to have to listen to anybody else's leadership. And two, she doesn't want to have to deal with the whole like people holding her accountable thing and following rules. She don't like that. And they try to say that's from us, man. Like you just had that, that lady that went out there to help. She probably will never help in another search for another missing person case again. And these are for her own people and people that uh, say that they care about, you know, really, truly helping. And Bash, as far as I know, never said that. No one said that Bash is never again going to search for another missing person. I, that's just so overdramatic, over the top and histrionic. That was never said I'm sure that Bash, if she wanted to help with a search again, she'd probably do it. Just probably not with you, with uh, with Bullhorn Betty. I mean, I'm just guessing here, but like exactly blank, blank screen. She's just making shit up, trying to stir the drama and fan the flames when it's already been squashed. So you just stopped this woman that really actually cared from probably ever participating in seeing like again. And, and and you want to talk about my bad behavior? Okay, okay. Well, let me tell you about my bad behavior. My behavior is I'm about over all of this. I'm about over being attacked for no reason. I'm about over, like, you guys hate me for over lies. And this is where she starts going off the deep end. Grab your popcorn, folks. It's going to be great. And you guys are so naive. You can't even realize that you were lied to. And everything that you hate me for is one big fat freaking lie outside of three press done. Uh, everything is so when that kind of when her internet went out she was saying 
um, outside of three protesting. I think that's what she said, something like that. Let's go, Brandon, member for two months. Thank you so much. Betty, I don't hate you. I genuinely concerned that you are going to hurt yourself or ruin a case. I tend to agree with that. Like, I don't hate Betty. I don't hate any of the people that I review. It's just not that deep for me. I am worried, though. I'm very concerned because as time goes on, she's continuing to hurt families, continuing to dox people, continuing to threaten people. She's currently trying to, like, she currently is in the middle of suing Queen Bee just to uh, silence her, to financially drain her, and to um, weaponize the court. And when she's done with Queen Bee, she'll do it to the next person and the next person and the next person. And so it's just like people are seeing that and they're like, well, like, I, again, I'm only going to speak for myself. I don't hate Betty, but I hate her behavior because what she's doing to people is wrong. Just point blank. It's wrong. Uh, the next person that she sues after Queen, even if it's somebody that I don't know or and or don't like, I'm still going to say that it's wrong because it's wrong. You shouldn't be weaponizing the court like that. That's just not what the court's for. Not to mention how many people out there really do need to go to court for legitimate reasons, serious, life-threatening reasons, and they have to wait because Miss Upsetty Betty Pants over here has to throw in an extra court date on the 14th, and she's demanding this and demanding that. It's ridiculous. Ben, if those protests were to put bad people in jail, like Leilani Simon, she killed her son. And she she needed to be in jail. She's still not getting it. No one is saying that Leilani is innocent. <laughs> no one is saying that. Another massive straw man. Rinse, repeat ad nauseum. What people are having a problem with is the way that she went about it. Why not protest at, I don't know, the police station? Because <laughs> it's really the police that she was mad at. She was mad that the police won't, you know, divulge information to her as if she's entitled to that. She's mad that the police won't arrest her on things before they're ready to arrest her because there is a process to these things. There's a process. But what I know, right? Like she's the legal expert in this. I'm not. But, you know, and she's so all the things that she was mad at during that time was all things that she was mad at the police for allegedly not doing what she claims that they should have done. So why is it that instead of protesting the actual police, she goes to a residential neighborhood, a residential street in front of residential homes and is making the lives of the people there, a living fucking hell, including an elderly person who was just wanted to die in their home in peace, who was on hospice. You had a child that had severe autism that had to leave. You had people asking them to leave. And I don't care what she says. I have seen the live streams. A lot of you saw it live as well. They had baby screams, crying, like baby crying, playing. They had... Um, people blocking driveways. There was a reason why there was a whole bunch of people there that got arrested. As much as now she wants to be like, oh, I didn't know those people. Those people had nothing to do with me, blah, 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 blah. It's not true because I watched it live where she's standing there in front of that house at night and she's calling one of the ladies, uh, Bullhorn Jr. and giving her the bullhorn and being like, here, um, go do this, go do that. And then what ended up happening was that woman took things too far, ended up getting arrested. And Bullhorn Betty and the people that got arrested will tell you this because they have publicly come out and said this multiple times that Bullhorn Betty was telling them privately, oh, if you get arrested, I got you, boo. I got you. I'll help you out. But that's not what happened. The second they get arrested, Bullhorn Betty not only is not helping them out, but she's going rushing to go live to be like, I don't know those people. They had nothing to do with me. So once again, she's not getting it. And if she is getting it, then she's being incredibly dishonest here because people aren't just like mad at her because she was protesting air quotes. Okay. That is not at all what happened. And she knows it. And she's being a liar right now. We were fighting.
fighting for a 20 month old child for the person that brutalized that child to be put in jail. Was that really that wrong? And we were blamed for all of the protests pulled up. And that had not, the night stuff had nothing to do with us. Like literally we went out there one time at the night just because we had heard that the, the, the people were getting arrested and we wanted to see what was going on out there. And as soon as we show up, we were blamed for the whole thing. Even the baby cry, we had no baby crying. Okay, wow. <laughs> that is such a lie and you know it. So apparently when we watched those streams at night, when Bullhorn Betty was streaming, apparently there was nobody playing sounds of babies crying. Wow. Because you know what's going to happen now, Betty? Somebody in my chat is going to find that clip. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of people that clip it and post it. And I hope they do. I hope people take the sounds of and the video of you guys playing crying baby sounds with you saying, there was no crying baby sounds. Those haters are lying. I hope somebody makes a video showing the justification between those two things. Because you are straight up lying right now. Grain member for three months. Thank you so much. There was not a protest. It was a hate-filled circus. Correct. Which is why the police chief called her and all the people that were with her a money-making circus. Exactly, B. Tim. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. We have fog horns going. We didn't do any of that. So no horns. So no fog horns. She said fog horns. I guess there's, there's a distinction between that and a bullhorn. Really? So uh, she's saying there was no baby crying and no horns. Girl, bye. Thank you, Lori. Remember for two months. Thank you so much. But these are people that sit there and tell people that they're telling them the truth. They can't lie. It's both. They can't lie. Well, it's kind of funny because all those th that information you fed your audience was nothing but lies. See, she is a typical locale. If I delete it, it never happens. So that when new people come in, I'll just tell them, oh, all these people saying that these things happen, they're all crazy. They're, they're mentally ill. Remember when she went through that phase where she was saying that everybody who disagrees with her is mentally ill, which I find foul as fuck. By the way, Benny, that was pretty gross to say. But she thinks that somehow she can just lie to the new people coming in and that people aren't going to have the streams. Betty, people got the streams and they're going to make videos. And this right here is a perfect example why people make videos about her. Because Betty will sit up here and lie through her fucking yellow teeth, right? And then expect nobody to have the videos to back up what, what actually happened. Next thing you know, you have 20 channels streaming it, reviewing it making parody videos after it, clipping it, posting clips on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, showing where she lies. And then she's like, why are people making all these videos about me? It's like, well, hello. <laughs> like you were lying. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. It's the lying for me, boo. Like you just do it all the time. And that's why people have content to make videos. Because if you would just set up here and, and, you know, like a like the badass that you say that you are to everybody, right? I'm Bullhorn Betty, blah, blah, blah. Why, if you had just set up here and be like, yeah, we play baby sounds and I would have been like, okay, well, I respect her for telling the truth. She told the truth that time. But no, you have to lie about stuff that's so easily disproved. It's crazy. I have a video dropping tonight. She was out there eight nights, not one. And I have the clip of her sitting right there while the baby crying was playing and MGL cheered them on. Oh, Betty, it's already starting. <laughs> Thank you, Chronicles of Oblivious, which is a great channel, by the way. Wow. So it's already starting. And just thought if you had not lied, there would be no videos proving you, you had lied. Nothing but lies. You thought because you thought that, that it was true and you peddled it and you hurt people. And you had a woman come out there that didn't need to be out there that assaulted me. So um, do I agree with Aileen's behavior? 100% not. However, fair is fair. And the truth is the truth. 
Aileen did not assault her. That was not what happened. She keeps saying it happened, claimed it was on video. And then when the video came out that she didn't touch Betty at all, wasn't even near her. And it was actually Dolly that ripped the bullhorn out of her hand. Then it's like, oh, well, yeah, it really did happen. I just don't have proof. Okay, sure. I just, I don't believe that that happened. Thank you, Kelly. Gifted one membership. I appreciate that. Lurker, welcome to the dumpster fire. All of you guys are responsible for that. And you're responsible for bad crime tonight. Shame on you guys for that. And you know what? Wait for me for the bad behavior. Look at your bad behavior that, that incited this response. I wonder if did something from, maybe her intentions weren't the best in the world. But at least by the time by the time I got there, I didn't even realize. And it didn't. And believe what you want to believe. I really don't care because I realize no matter what I say, what I do, nobody's going to believe it except the people that are here watching it day in and out. There. I can't say anything about it. I can't do anything. I don't, I'm, I'm tired of trying to convince people. If you think I'm such a horrible person, think it. I don't give a shit anymore. Um, that clips in my video too debunks the whole thing. She ran up on Aileen, not the other way around. That is correct. So yikes. And besides, I mean, think about it. If Betty actually had proof that Aileen had assaulted her, do you think that Betty would be sitting on that? No, no way. I would ever believe that Betty would 100% have ran and Karen to the nearest police officer as fast as her little feet can carry her. One of these days, she's going to attack the wrong person. Unfortunately, that's probably true. Be uh, Betty believes that if she says something that makes it so, that woman was nowhere near Betty to assault her. That is correct. Furthermore, everything was on Justin's video. Aileen was the only one assaulted. That is facts. 100%. <laughs> Your opinion to me literally does not matter. And that's the bad behavior they're talking about is the fact that I, they think that they, this is a problem. What do I think bad behavior is? I think bad behavior is somebody actually thinking that they can dictate to somebody that they know oh. how they should act, oh. how they should live their life. Really? You do not have that right. Oh, 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 I'm going to let her finish. Hold on. At all. I'm a good person, whether I like it or not. Oh, okay. So it's kind of funny because you say you don't want to tell people what they can and cannot do with their content. Why are you suing Queen B then? Why are you threatening to sue like five other people? You're threatening to sue Headstones, threatening to sue SF Investigates. You're threatening to sue like the whole YouTube street. <laughs> like, well, then why are you suing everybody? Because you're mad that they do the content that they do. Because that's ultimately what you're trying to do is to get these people to stop making content on you. you. Cannot have it both ways. You can't be like, how dare someone dictate to me and then turn around and be like, I'm suing because you, I, I can't control what you do on your channel. Doesn't work that way. And yeah, I come out here because you, and, 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 and speak my truth. Because I'm forced to, because you guys won't stop. You're fucking animals. Ah, it's not great. <laughs> it gets better. And then you attack a woman that came out there. Your own person that you sent out there to spy on me. So, right. So more uh, conspiracy theories. Right. Okay. And then... You attack her because you didn't get the narrative that you wanted. I thought we were jellyfish and roaches. I mean, right? I thought we were all of the other things. I'm just waiting for the day where she starts calling me a savage. I mean, it's just like so on brand for her. I don't know why she hasn't started yet. Like, do you guys not, 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 not even remotely realize how irrational all of this is? <laughs> I mean, confession, pro projection is a confession, Betty. Nobody sent Bash a spy. I mean, right, like, Bash, again, like, for fuck's sake, Bash is a grown-ass adult. She can do what, what she wants. Nobody makes another grown-ass adult do something or not do something. 
that that's that's a crazy thought to think that somehow Bash is just like this mindless drone that we all make her do. Like that's ridiculous, buddy. Is 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 this not clicking for your side of the group? You no, know, you're teaching children for the love of Christ. Okay, maybe she's talking about headstones. I'm not sure. Maybe this is why um, Betty's mod that was in here on Monday thought that I was headstones. I'm really not sure why, because we've been on panel together, I think, more than once. But that shit was funny. And you're teaching children that some stranger can tell them what the fuck they can do with their life? Take that. Clip that. And I really don't give a shit. Well, if you don't give a shit, then why are you complaining because people are clipping you? Uh, it doesn't make sense, Betty. You scream for people to show up so that you could prove to them you're a nice person. But then when somebody does, you threaten to like, like sue them or you say that they're stalking you. What? Now you're like, like, it's so dumb. Can she please stop wearing plastic bracelets from Summer, Kaylee, and Madly? Those aren't fashion, Betty. I, I mean, it's it's weird to me. I don't know. I just see things different, but it's it's that's just weird to me. She's talking about me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Headstones, because I was like, what is she talking about? Take that, take it as a joke and not joke. I don't care. Well, that's a good point, Becca. Uh, well, if you don't care, then why'd you hide it, Betty? Because <laughs> you she first put it on private and then she put it behind the fifty ball. $50 paywall, like right after that. So I'm like, okay, well, if you say it with your whole chest and you're not afraid to say it, cause you know, you're bullhorn Betty, then why did you put it behind a paywall? Like a coward? You don't get to dictate where I go, what I do, how I spend my money, how I make my money, what I do. The only damn thing that get, I get to do is live my life for me each and every day. The people that are here to support it can support it. The people that don't, Go find somebody that you can't support. But actually bullying, beating up, intimidating, following, stalking, showing up is absolutely fucking insane. And this is why I'm concerned for Bash. Because she is saying he, she's amping up her rhetoric just like she did before she served Queen B. Right, The same thing that she did right before she served Crude. The same thing before she's done this, all this other stuff, right? Doxing people and everything is that there's a certain tone of voice. There's certain things that she says. And I am very worried for Bash because Bullhorn Betty is then going to turn around and be like, oh, well, she was stalking me, right? So that's why I'm, I'm kind of worried. And that's why I'm saying like my opinion, take it or leave it, do what you want. Y'all are grown. But if you're asking me for my advice, don't show up because she will dox you. She will use it to come after you later. And the, I just, I don't want that for any of you guys. Do you think this is an act for court? I, this is not helping her. If she thinks that she's like, I, I don't know. This is the opposite of what she's actually suing. <laughs> so so um, this is not going to help her. And if she thinks that the judge is not going to see this, um, whoops. In same. Well, I appreciate Bash being a courteous person. I just think the element of coming there to basically spy on me was poor judgment. And you talk about my bad behavior. When have I ever stopped you and showed up at your anything? Oh, I forgot. You guys actually have to get off your ass and do something. Well, I mean, I distinctly remember you saying to me and Crude when you thought that I was married to Crude that you were going to find out where my kids go to school and you were going to show up at my house with a bullhorn. I remember you saying that. Right. Right. And you've said that other times before. You were like, how would you like it if I showed up at your house with a bullhorn? Right. Can you imagine if I had said something like that to her? Like if I had been like, hey, bullhorn, Betty, I'm coming to your house. Oh, my God. She would flip out she'd be calling the cops she'd be calling like dr phil like she'd be freaking out yes i hate to break it to you in person i'm a nice fucking person <laughs> that should be clipped 
<laughs> my God. Oh, right. <laughs> um, pro tip. If you have to tell everybody that you're such a nice person, you're probably not. If you have to run around and brag about all your good deeds, probably didn't do them for the right reasons. I'm just, I'm just saying. And that's right, B Tim. Uh, six days till the court date, folks. Ooh, ooh, can't wait. On here, when my back's against the wall every single frick day. Yeah, you don't get that 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 person from me. And had Bash told me who she was, she wouldn't have seen that either, because I would have been a hell of a lot more reserved. I would have watched what I said. I would have watched how I acted. See that. So you're admitting that you would have acted differently if you had, if, if Bash had said, yeah, I'm Bash, what's up? So now you're admitting that you would have been different. So, okay. She's a petulant child. Uh, I agree with that. Thank you, Rickzilla. I appreciate you. I am not going to read that out loud for several reasons, but uh, I do not. I do not say that she's saying that. I just. I just want to say that I do not. There's no evidence that I have found to say that. I just. I have to say that. Unfortunately. Can we drop the legal fund link in the chat? Yes. Uh, B Tim or whoever else, can y'all drop the link to her um, to Queen B's legal fund? That would be great. But anybody that Thank sits you. there and says support somebody showing up to stop somebody, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> and if you have a problem with it, fuck you some more. Now clip that, you fucking bitch. But I'm a nice person. Oh, God, this is so great. <laughs> clip that, you fucking bitch. So great. Oh, God. I love it. And tell me how horrible I am. So you're telling people, clip that bitch and tell me how horrible I am. And then people are going to do it. And then you're going to be like, they're making videos about me. I'm being bullied. Um, It kind of sounds like you're the bully at this point. This is the side you guys get to see because you pull it out of me on here. You don't get to see me personally. I will never allow you to get to that portion of me. You don't get that. You're welcome, you didn't man. earn that. The people that get to see that are the ones that get off their ass and come out and do a freaking job. I agree, Petty Dragon Fruit. Telling someone to go F themselves is such a caring statement. So beautiful. And come out and, and help a family. That's who gets to see that. You get to see that. You didn't deserve it. Damn sure didn't earn it. You want to talk shit about me all the time? Talk shit about me my fake reputation because that's what i call it a fake reputation this is one tired mama right here okay this is the face of a tired person that's been out in the freaking heat out in here we go complaining about how it's such a hard ship for her to go and search for these people son searching for two days for a kid that i'm, I'm barely gonna find if i even can find information to even locate what county she might be in Thank you, Verhana. I thought if you showed up to uh, to do it in person like she does, that it's not stalking. It's your First Amendment right. It's only stalking. Hold on one second. It's only stalking if it's online, I thought. Wow. It's almost like she can't keep her lies straight. Now, of course, she's wrong on both accounts, but it's just very contradictory. Uh, Betty was absolutely prepared to be in her best, even actually walking around as long as she claims she was hoping for a crowd to come to her. Right. Again, she had to be the center of attention. Uh, Macaw Mama, thank you so much. When someone shows you who they really are, you uh, believe them. The glare from her forehead is blinding me. <laughs> uh, yes, that's my Angelo um, facts. But we did find information. Every time we go out on these things, we at least get Jennifer, her mother, a little more information to help her understand what happened to her daughter. And maybe you assholes out there don't understand that. Maybe you just don't. Maybe you don't care. Maybe it's all about, I hate Betty, hate Betty at all costs. Bash your own people when they come back to tell you the truth. Because you don't, you don't get what you want when I'm on here. You want me to be all sweet and kind? You didn't earn it. Again, she's talking absolute nonsense. I don't know. Like, 
this is not making fucking sense at all. Nobody, I just, whatever. It's so dumb. Like the things that she just makes up and then she rants about the things that she just made up. It's insane. Thank you, Peggy. Oh my goodness. You do not have to do that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, it's okay for her to stalk families of tragedies. Wow, that is a great point. Hmm. It's like the rules don't apply to her, apparently. Uh, thank you, Lisa. If she won the lottery, she wouldn't search or advocate anymore. Probably not. And if, God forbid, she lost monetization on her YouTube channel, I wonder how much she'd do this for free. Just saying. Also, I have to say this, too. She loves to point at all the people that criticize her and have a dissenting opinion as like these other true crime channels. In reality, the vast majority of the people that give her criticism are not true crime channels. But she loves to frame us as if we are. So then she can say, oh, look how terrible of a true crime channel they are because they aren't actually helping people as far as like posting searches on their YouTube channel. They're not posting flyers on their YouTube channel because they, she, she's like created this weird standard that doesn't apply to anyone. And like I said, the vast majority of the people that give her criticism may dip their toes in true crime, but they're not actual true crime channels. I mean, look at Queen Bee. Queen Bee has more of an open panel of a channel and she sometimes will do like man hunts and things like that. But I don't think that Queen Bee, like I've never heard Queen Bee said, yeah, I'm a true crime channel. I've never heard her say that. And she's very clear that she isn't, that she's more open panel channel than anything else. So I'm certainly not true crime. I, I don't know why she continually tries to imply that I am. There are people to this day that get pissed at me in my comment section. I love it, by the way. Puts a smile on my face. They're like, you're the worst true crime channel I've ever seen. It's like, Wow, because I'm not a true crime channel. So thanks, I guess. Like, it just, it's so stupid. You've done nothing but bash me. Why do you get to get to see the joy that I, I produce? Why do you get to see the good that I can do? Why do I have to prove anything to any of you animals out there? People to prove to are the people that show up and want to actually help. If Betty is ever a standard, we have failed as humans. I agree with that statement. And so far... There's only one woman that did that, and you guys just made that lady cry. So congratulations. When, just when I think you guys can't get any lower or any shittier or any more scumbaggy. Scum, you guys, scumbaggy? Okay. Prove me wrong. And let me guess, by tomorrow, they're going to have 15 videos. Did you see what Daddy said? Pointing the finger over there. So you ain't look over there. I, again, it's utter nonsense. I am not going live and saying, guess what Betty said the other day? Let me tell you what she said. No, I'm playing you saying the thing. And then people can make up their own minds. What she's really upset about is that people are playing her in her own words and she's getting caught in lies. And she's getting caught saying things that she didn't mean to say and then she regrets later and she deletes it or privates it or unlists it or puts it up on a $50 paywall. And then she gets pissed because people had already recorded it and now it's everywhere. That's really what she's mad about here. Thank you, Rigzilla. Bullhorn Karen wants to see the manager of YouTube, probably. Actually, she has tried to do that to me <laughs> by false striking me. <clears throat> Burnt Toast is a rubbish cooking channel. You're right. I am a terrible cooking channel, guys. I'm so bad at that. Yep, she has never said she is just true crime. She kind of just covers what she wants and has an open panel. That is correct. But if you didn't know that, you would think that Queen Bee was a true crime channel and was terrible at it. It's like, that's, she doesn't, she's not a true crime channel. How does she know anyone was crying if she doesn't watch any of these channels? Wow. See, y'all are so smart. Right? Didn't she just say, like, the beginning of this, that she doesn't watch any of us, <laughs> that she doesn't have her mod send her anything else either because she doesn't want to hear about it? And yet she was watching. Wow. So interesting, right? 
Well, fuck all y'all. <laughs> well, fuck all y'all. Now, I used to worry about what I said on here. I had a person that was my friend that was, you know, he's all about his reputation and 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 shit like that, right? Oh. Well, um, yeah, that 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 is over. That friendship is over, and I really don't care. Okay, so she. So this is interesting. Do I believe? Do I believe her? Mm, no, because she has said this before, where she has said that her friendship with JLR was over. And then after that, she's like talking with him and like talking about him and they're like hanging out or whatever. So it's like, I, I don't believe her until time passes and it is proven over time. But yes, I do think that she was trying to talk about JLR, saying that their friendship was over. What I do think is interesting this time is that she's saying that basically he doesn't like the way that she's cussing all the time. He doesn't like the drama and credit. I, I, I will never like JLR after what he tried to do with my channel, how he tried to steal that art that didn't belong to him and try to take my channel down in the process. I'm never going to be cool with that dude ever, 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 ever. However, Again, fair is fair. And the way the videos that he was doing with the the man hunt and, and PA, there's nothing wrong with them. He wasn't tragedy pimping. He wasn't doing anything wrong. There was nothing to like, there was just nothing there. He wasn't hurting anybody. And even in one of the videos when the cop was like, hey, can you please move? Guess what? He moved. He didn't, he wasn't a dick about it, right? And I've seen him on there talk about how he doesn't want to do the drama. He doesn't want to do conspiracy theories. He doesn't want to do like all of the cussing and all the stuff that Bullhorn Betty does like predominantly on her channel. So it's like, I, I don't have a problem with that. Like, that's why I'm not reviewing him right now because there's nothing to review. So I'm wondering, this is just my thoughts. I'm wondering if maybe... He came to her and was like, listen, I can't have you on my channel. I can't be associated with you on YouTube because you're going to cost me subscribers because I don't do the, the drama and the screaming and the yelling about haters and all that stuff on my channel. And every time you talk, you talk about the haters. I have watched her go on other people's panels where they're interviewing her about her channel. And she talks the entire time about blank screen or BT or queen, or fill in the blank hater, or she'll just say the jellyfish over there. And it's just like, what? So I'm wondering if she went to him and was like, hey, can we do something together? Because he's over 100K now. And she thought, oh, you know, I'll pull like a, I'll just, you know, collab with him and get some subs or whatever. But I'm just wondering if maybe he was like, I don't want anything to do with the bullshit that you have on your channel and she felt some type of way about it. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if that's true. Again, I don't believe anything that she says until it's confirmed later. There was somebody that tagged me. Toasty, read my comments. Okay. I'll try to scroll up, see if I can find it. Um, during the Quentin Simon protest, it was red haired spirit hunter who played children music and the baby crying. Look it up. I mean, I don't know who the redhead, red haired spirit hunter is. I, I've never, I don't even know what you're talking about, but there's somebody that's already going to be posting the clips on their channel. So I guess we'll find out by looking at the clips. You guys can can uh, kiss my ass the whole thing. I don't give a frat rat's ass. I'm done. I got ties with just about every single person. Literally every single person. Ties. The only person I'm about to start working with and, and, and even confiding is, in is Olivia. She is the only person that has been here, stuck by me, worked her ass off to help these families and to help them well. And every fucking time... We go out to help. We have these stupid idiots, these animals that think they know something, that think they know me. You don't know me. You, don't know how, you want me to explain that to you. How nice would you like me to tell you you don't know me? Uh, Dolly question mark. Yeah, that's actually true. I'm wondering why, like, 
does she, is she including Dolly in this rant? But how she doesn't want to fuck with any of these people anymore. Like she, the only person that she's saying that she wants to hang out with now is Olivia and only Olivia. So it's like, I don't, I don't know who she's talking about. She just said he. So I don't know if she means Dolly or JLR or somebody else, but it's weird to me. Yeah, she is 44. She just turned 44 this month, actually. Uh, been in a bicycle seat, member for 15 months. Thank you so much. Does Olivia have any say in this, quote, relationship? <laughs> That's on Olivia. Because let me tell you something. In my opinion, Olivia is just as complicit. Olivia is is right there in all the fuckery, just like all the other ones were. She doesn't get a pass. Not in my book. You locked me. Why would you want me to come? You want me to come? Oh, would you please be my friend? Please be my friend. You don't deserve that. No. You want my time and attention? You earn it, bitch. She's such a nice person. <laughs> okay. All right. He's been growing. It's not good for business for him to be associated with someone deeply unpopular who has no new subs to share. I agree with that. That's a hard 48, 44. Yes. Yep, and I'm going to refrain from the very low-hanging fruit jokes. You earn it! You bull your way into it. Fuck you. <laughs> now, have I said my F words enough? Who's going to donate to my cuss jar tonight? Wow. So she says all that, and it's like, yeah, y'all give me money. <laughs> wow, I get, I give her credit. That's That takes some balls. I get... I'm telling you that that took some balls right there. I'm curious because I said a lot of stuff that needs a little bit of uh, some finagling. I, the F word's $10. <laughs> I don't want to break y'all's bank. I just broke my own. Okay. But the F word's $10. And I think I earned every last one of them. Because wow. Wow. The nerve. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Is that why she has a cuss jars that she could be like, y'all, I'm going to say the F word five times. Y'all give me 50 bucks. <laughs> what? Layla, welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. I do believe you are supposed to pay when you cure. Oh, I, that's totally wrong conversation, apparently. Can we please be friends? Said no one ever. Yeah, like, exactly. I don't. I don't think the bash actually said that. I've I've seen no evidence of anyone saying that. And of course, she's not going to show it. So, I I don't believe her. JLR is probably pissed because she plagiarized his lawsuit word for word and changed the names only question mark. I don't know. If I was him, I would be pissed. If, and I will say this, if she did in fact allegedly plagiarize his lawsuit and just copied it without his knowledge, if, emphasizing if, that actually did happen, and I was him, I would be furious. Because then she's trying to drag him into all of this when he clearly is wanting to move on from the bullshit. Only offline she is nice. <laughs> Betty is a trip. Yeah, she really is. How nice would you like me to tell you you don't know me? <laughs> There's so many great clips in this. Wait, they don't let us write a message with our membership milestones. I wanted to say thank you. They should let you. Yeah, they usually give you like, I think, 50 characters. Just tag my name. Y'all don't have to give me money. Just tag my name, burnt toast as one word, and I will read your comment. Okay. See anybody? Uh, she's talking about me because I always say I want her to be bestie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So headstones. Um, I'm sure you uh, know this, but <clears throat> for those that don't, Betty doesn't get sarcasm at all. She doesn't understand analogies. She doesn't understand a lot of things. 
And so people will say things as a joke or as sarcasm, like with Headstone saying, be my bestie. And then Betty actually thinks that she's serious. <laughs> hey, what's up, Truth Seeker? I uh, can't write one with mine either. Really? That's so crazy. That's, uh, I wonder if YouTube is uh, glitching again. Last stream, the chat was like going crazy for me on my end. Yeah, just just tag my name and I'll read your comment. Y'all don't have to do that. As you know what? I'm sun. I'm, I'm freaking exhausted, right? Been out there. I got sunburn on my freaking scalp. I'm, my head's gonna be peeling soon. I, I am not. <laughs> I'm not making a joke. Mm, trying hard not to make a joke. Not doing it. Not doing it. Right? And guess what? Even with a peeling head, guess what I've got to do? I still got to show up for each and every one of you. <laughs> wow. Okay. So a Olymp uh, victim Olympics right now. She's the biggest victim because her scalp is peeling from sunburn. <laughs> My God. I mean, she should at least get a trophy. Am I right? Uh, so as you can see, I'm, I'm highly upset. I feel a little duped about the whole thing, but... She feels duped, even though she was told ahead of time that Bash was showing up. I'm pretty sure that's not the definition of duped. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm glad to have met her. I'm mean, I'm glad she didn't turn it into a a, a, a crap, you know, garbage crap. Re really, you're gonna say five thousand f words, and now you're gonna be like, oh crap. I I, I mean, crap, crap, crap. Um, at the end, I I really did start thinking that she was recording me. And I even pulled Sonia aside. I said, you know, I said, I really don't. She was leave. She thought the leave ways. And I said, you know, they said there was just something odd. I said, when she was, we were talking, I said, I almost felt like she was reporting me. I said, I've never felt like that around somebody before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the real me too. She's like, you deserve it. <laughs> I'll contribute to the cuss jar. Just don't say any more cuss words. You're going to break the bank. And uh, I'm, uh... And the grift is so obvious right now. I don't even have to point it out. So it's our fault. She doesn't know what a hat or sunscreen are. Makes sense. I mean, totally, right? <sighs> and Betty, that's called sarcasm. You just got to get it off your chest. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Happy but I got to be honest with you. Like, um, I'm just. It's. Uh... And that's correct. Uh, Bash was not recording her. But that's Betty being paranoid. This is the same person that was like, people need to stop brushing up against me in public. No one has done that, Betty. <laughs> that's not somebody from YouTube. That's a random person in public. But okay. Um, I just get so, I'm, I guess I get a little bitter on here, you know, because everybody acts like no me. And it's like, and no matter what you say to them, they're, they, they're so brainwashed. And this is where it gets interesting. All right, mom, because you gave birth to me, I'm going to let you speak. <laughs> You're gonna have... The apple do, does not fall far from the tree. Happy birthday. Our happy birthday, mom. How are you? And that's also correct. Bash was not recording the search either. And Bash obviously isn't posting content about the search. So... Right. Uh, you better let me speak. Um, let me speak, Mom. Go ahead. Um, I, um, a couple of your mods know who I am on uh, TikTok and YouTube. And I fried some taters today and yesterday. I <laughs> burnt some grits. But... Um, Actually, you keep talking for a second. I'm gonna. Go, I gotta like just keep talking for a second. Okay. I just uh, thought that uh, I I couldn't end it a minute longer on Miss Daisy Basham. I just wanted to go up there and knock her off. Her well, we don't prescribe to violence, ma. But you know, it's just. Uh, who talks to their mother like this? Uh, she does. <laughs> It gets weird. I, purple dot, I ain't going to say it. I have no idea. It's just. 
it's a little, it's a little hard. Nothing that woman thought it would um, be. I get it, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just a little disheartening that I'm not turning this into anything about me. They are. It's like, you know, they keep <laughs> saying, oh, she only goes out there for herself, for herself. For No, even this, I did, I have, I've literally have done everything I can possibly effing do to help this family. And everybody is like, oh, she's just here for something. Here for something. Like, I haven't asked nobody for a fucking dime. So, right. So what about the, like, you were just asking your coffee club members for the flyers. Like you even did a community tap, tap post. I showed it last week. Other people have showed this where you said, thanks to the coffee club for donating to the flyers. And then you just said earlier in the same stream that you live off of donations. So, okay, girl. I know you wouldn't even take money from me. And by the way, the, the money I was going to, give you anyhow you just burn it up in 10 minutes with all the cussing i know i'm, I'm sorry i'm just you if betty didn't know who bash was how does she know bash left early great question this is what happens when you lie you lose track of the lie and then you have to lie to cover up the lie and then it becomes an absolute mess you guys can understand my hostility. and thank you she just asked money for swearing Hostility, though, right? I mean, uh, think about it. Somebody just showed up. Mom, you're forking out all your money. You, you fork out every penny you have to go do all these things. They don't realize you've got the hotels, you've got the gas, the wear and tear on your poor car, the wear and tear on my poor body. Um, you know. And all you have to do is look at your face and see that you've got two burnt holes in a blanket for your eyes. So I'm, I'm telling you, baby. I, I never show receipts. I never show receipts what I'm doing. I am the freaking receipt. Uh, this, this is why she's a little cow. This shit's hilarious. I am the receipt. I've got words. Thank you so much. In the words of Adam Sandler. Oh, God. It's stupid in stereo. Yes. Hmm. She knew it was Bash? Of course she knew it was Bash. <laughs> Guard your neck. Hide your wife. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, somebody. Oh, somebody messaged me last week on TikTok and said, what the F is she going to Tennessee again for? It was that Prof K, whatever his name is. Oh, good lord. Oh, a professor. Hey, a professor truly has time to attack a YouTuber. And I they said, I said, because she was invited by Jennifer, her mother. And not only that, but. So if you haven't picked it up, her mother is running around, leaving comments in my uh, chat, threatening me leaving comments on other people's uh, channel over on TikTok, stirring up trouble. Her mother is literally going around and on different accounts who the fuck knows which one she is. And she's running around stirring up shit. Okay. Okay. Like, you know, we, I cannot tell you how incredibly weird and toxic and just weird that is. This is reminding me of Shani for Christ when Shani and her mother were both like talking back and forth on YouTube. And it just, it was so fucking weird. Like this is weird. It's very weird. You don't go in here without having law enforcement contact. I made sure that my area was cleared for, you know, for us to search. There were certain areas we were allowed to go in. I did not. I did not go in them is because they have not had a chance to search yet. So we yeah. did everything again above board, but yet nothing is ever good enough for these heathens. Well, that's what, that's what they are. Heathens. Wow. Hear what her mom said. That's what they are. Heathens. And you wonder where Betty's getting it from. Uh, somebody says Layla's mom did, doesn't claim Betty never posted her flyer on any of her videos. 
uh, disturbing AF. It is. It's yeah. It's it's weird. So I guess that's the new thing. Is they're all going to be heathens now? Because I told this fashion the other night. Were you talking? Were you talking, talking about, to these people? Uh, she was talking about Jennifer being a liar and this and that. And I said, "Oh, ma'am, you need a mirror so you can take a long look at yourself." So her mother is now getting into the drama with people on social media. That's fucking weird as fuck. My my mom would never. Wow. Um, so she only allowed, so she was only allowed to search where was already searched question mark that I don't know. I had heard from people that police were saying that they didn't want individuals running around searching. So I don't know exactly where she, she searched. Um, let's see. Heathens dot, dot, dot from the mother who was physically attacked by her daughter and tried to get a restraining order against her. Oh no. She didn't get a restraining order. She was asking for a protective order, which is like the next level up. You have to go to court. You have to go to a judge. You have to approve stuff. Like it's a whole thing. It's not just like a restraining order. So yeah, her mother was in court petitioning the judge for a protective order against Bullhorn Betty. Yes, this same person. Yeah, kind of weird, right? Uh, did you catch that the police gave her an area that was cleared by them? She literally knew they were searching something that they would find nothing. Oh, I missed that. That's a good catch. I did not know. Wow. <laughs> so she went looking in a place that had been already cleared. Wow. Okay. I love how she hyped it up as some like area that she may find something like that. Oh, that's fucking, that's great. Yeah, well, at least I go out there and investigate before I call people liars. <laughs> oh, I just got hot under the collar. Well, you need to ignore it just like I do. I tell you all the time, turn it off. Uh, it just, well, no, I'm a mother. You, 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 you are you, you know, it's you, but I'm your mother. Nothing anybody says that doesn't get under my into my crawl because yeah, I'm and by telling crazy. people that all they're going to do is exploit it. I know how first class we are, right? They're so first class. I just mm, that is just dripping with all kinds of things that I'm just not even going to get into. Wow! Uh, last time I checked. If you are really first class, you don't need to announce to people that you're first class. And if you think that what I'm seeing on the screen right now is even close to first class. Wow. Again, like somebody said earlier, what fucking standards are you basing that off of? Oh, gosh, puppy. Thank you. God oh bless God. you. $1,400. It's SARS, Mom. Calm down. It's SARS. It's not SARS. Okay. That South African currency, it starts with an R. I don't remember what it's called, but it says Z-A-R on YouTube, but the actual currency is not called SARS. And it, it, I think it goes, I think it's like $70, 70 US dollars or 70 something, something like that. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, Mudbrook or Rand. They use Rands. Thank you. Bless you. Well, thank you. And it says, and she says, this bullying must stop. You are working for the good. We see you to the hell, uh, to hell with them. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hush Puppy. Oh, you know, Hush Puppy has, oh, has been around for, oh my God. Hush Puppy has been around. <laughs> Her mom thinks it's $1,400. <laughs> for uh, quite some time. Um, and she always pops her head in. She, I know she always keeps her. Her eyeballs everywhere. She watches everybody. She always <laughs> pops in here. And, and God bless you for that. God bless you. Oh, uh, bless you. oh my God. But, um, I'm just, uh, I'm ready to burn some grit. Well, don't worry about I'm it. I'm ready it's... to send some of this stuff to the 
division of professional regulations because it needs there's nothing, but there's ah, not our mom being a Karen and wanting to tell on somebody. Okay. There's not a whole lot that, that, that can be done at, at any more than what I'm doing right now. I mean, it's just, it's, it is just what it is. So calm down. No need. And, and I also prescribe, like, I don't like people um, coming over here to talk shit. I prefer our people now over there talking shit, you know? Uh, fun fact. This was live at the same time that I was live on Monday. She ended, obviously, or I think she ended either before I ended. At, at any point, at any, um, her mom left that stream and then came over to my chat. So that gives you kind of a context there. Just let everybody just be, be you. If they have something to say on their channel, that's their channels. So let them do it. I don't want it over here. So you just said, Betty, if somebody has something to say on their channels, let them say it over there on their channels, don't care, et cetera, et cetera. Then why are you suing Queen Bee? Why are you threaten, threatening to sue like five other content creators for things that they're saying on their YouTube channel? It's, that doesn't make sense, Betty. And if you think that this is not going to be uh, used against you in court, mm, you are mistaken. Personally, I don't want it over here. So, no, we're talking this Daisy, y'all, not Bash. Yeah, oh, oh, Crazy Daisy, that that lady, she's oh, the cow lady. Yeah, oh, well, you know, what? She's, she's found a little niche market of you know being able to bring farm animals. Her emoji, you know, the fact that probably she's the first time she's really had a whole lot of attention from people, and well, she's only got two hundred, she's only got two hundred members. And the other thing is, I thought she had thousands. That's not right, Daisy. Her mom is all up in that fucking drama. Shit talking another channel because they only have 200 subscribers. Like, what the fuck? And I can guarantee you right now that her mom is going to be like, Burnt Toast is bullying me. No, you are putting yourself on multiple platforms and inserting yourself into the drama. You are a grown ass person. And if you're going to be coming into my chat like you did on Monday, did you think that I was not going to say anything? I thought Daisy Fuck out Critters here. on the Farm. I thought she had thousands of members. No, 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 no. Not Critters on the Farm. Daisy Bastion. I don't know who the hell that is. The one that, um, the one that's Kinky's sister. Yeah, that's um, Crazy Daisy. That's Daisy on the Farm. Farm Critters and, yeah, that's the same, that's the same. Kinky's oh, yeah. Oh, I agree. Her mother is going to make things for Betty even worse, and I'm here for it. That is correct. And I've noticed that the two of them, they feed on each other. A lot of codependency there. They feed on each other's drama. She'll say something. The mom says something. It just kind of escalates. And there's definitely a power struggle because there have been times where the mom starts, you know, getting out of pocket and Betty will be like, can I speak, mother? <laughs> so fucking disrespectful. And then there's times where Betty starts getting hot under the collar. And her mom would be like, calm down. You're getting a little bit, you know, upset. And it's just, it's, it is so fascinating to watch. Just for me personally, it's, it's crazy to me. Yeah. That tells me a lot. Yeah. But um, I just get so upset. I, I can't. But, but why, why, this is my problem. Let, let me talk, mom. <laughs> Mother, let me talk. Why do you allow some people that absolutely do not know me, do not know you, do not know our family, do not know our friends, do not know how we live our life? Let me talk, mommy. Why oh would you God. ever even acknowledge their opinion of something they clearly have no clue about? You're arguing with an idiot, and arguing with idiots make you look like a freaking idiot. <laughs> they don't even know it. They haven't even realized they have no clue what they're talking about. These this is so weird. It is so weird, right? Like, when I watched this, I was like, okay, this is one of the reasons why she put this behind a paywall. Like, yikes. Still haven't caught the on it. They still believe everything that comes out of their mouth. It's infuriating. Trust me, it's infuriating for me, too. I've stepped up to Justin's, uh, you know, I've been a sub of Justin's for over a year. Mm -hmm. And then his... Justin, as in Justice for All. Uh, clutch, the, 
<laughs> Clutch them <laughs> first. <laughs> Um, I, I said that six months ago, and, um, <laughs> oh, Justin is Daisy Basham. He's hilarious. Oh, oh it, one, one of his, it's one, one of his characters then. The other day, and people were looking at him. He didn't have his wig on, but he had friends. He Thank you, reluctant healer. Welcome to the dumpster fire. So it's like arguing with herself with mom, yeah, right? Yeah, it is fan around his neck. He had all of his makeup on and I'm going, oh my God. <laughs> Well, you know, it's so, it's so funny because even these, you know, it comes down to this, like, I don't even get the chance to watch my friends very much on YouTube. Trust me. I, if I can't watch my friends on YouTube very much. He said sugar, sugar. I forgot the sugar, sir. And his little man standing behind him just like, what? Hey, Justin, Justin, check your tank. Justin, check your tank. I'm sure there's plenty of sugar there. Yes, Betty, he's gay. He says he's gay. Like, that's, wow, you're so funny. Let's make a gay joke. Right, right. We get it, Betty. He's gay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I love Justin. <laughs> he's probably going to get a kick what I just said. <laughs> I love him, too. I, he is gutsy. I tell you. But... Um, he points, I have all the respect in the world for him because he devotes putting people out there so we can see their stupidity. And I, I appreciate it so much. I but wait, she just said she cut ties with everyone but Olivia. Yes, she did just say that. This is why I don't believe her. I, I don't, I honestly don't know why she says all this stuff because then, like sometimes in the same stream, she contradicts what she said 30 minutes prior. No, but even all these, there's just like, I, that's why I just can't. It, it, it just, I, I think it, it consumes so much time to hate other people. I mean, that, just think of how much useful that time could be on other things, like designing a flyer for a missing kid, you know, posting something about a missing kid. Um, you know, actually, if you know of a missing kid sighting, going out there and looking for yourself or asking some questions. You know? So the thing with Betty is she thinks that if it's not on YouTube, it doesn't happen. So it doesn't matter if those of you who are listening to me have ever volunteered or helped someone or did a good deed or actually was involved in a search or actually did something to better your community, whatever. She thinks that none of those things happened because you haven't posted about it on social media. And I guess this is just a difference of perspective in my perspective, in my worldview, the second that you start bragging about it, it's like you never even did it. And if you're doing things for the purposes of, oh, I can make this into content later, uh, that makes you a piece of shit. I mean, just being real, like if you're doing good deeds just so that you can have content, just so that you can brag about it later and be like, hey guys, I'm a good person. I'm a nice person. I passed out water in the aftermath of a hurricane. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That doesn't make you a good person. That makes you an opportunist. That makes you a piece of shit. <laughs> so that's just my opinion. So getting, trying to direct people, to direct people over to law enforcement, you know, help with tips, something, anything. Like they're they're putting so much time and energy on hating. Where's the freaking love? Like I I don't get it. I I, I don't. I, I won't. And uh, yeah, who I who I am and who I am on YouTube. I mean, you, what you see is what you get. It see what I'm talking about? She literally just said, "What you see is what you get." What did she say before? That what you see on YouTube is completely different than who she is in real life. Uh, it ain't math and I don't get it. She's not making sense. Also, here's the thing, Betty. Just because somebody disagrees with you does not mean that they hate you. Does it mean that they're bullying you? Bullying you. It means that they disagree with you. Like you sound like a petulant child every time you complain about the haters 
disagreeing with you or giving you criticism or giving you pushback or giving their own opinion on their own platform. Because you seem to have this bizarre understanding of, I don't know, life where you think people either have to love you or hate you. I don't love or hate you. I don't have any, any emotions strong enough to fall in either of those directions. You can dislike somebody without hating them. And that's where I'm at. I dislike your behavior. I dislike uh, what you stand for, the things that you have said, how you want to euthanize children, the racist shit that you've said, just how you dox children, all the things that you have done that I have seen you do on your platform, things that have come out of your mouth. I am basing my opinion on you based on that. So I'm sorry, a case of water to hurricane victims, it ain't going to sway my view of you. You being nice to bash for two hours because you think she may be recording you, that shit don't cut it for me either. And frankly, I don't care whether you treat someone a certain way or another. I'm just here to review you. And if as long as you're going to act crazy and do all these things and continue to lie, I'm going to continue to review you. And there's nothing you or any of the snowflakes on your channel that are constantly complaining about how everybody should agree with you always or they're hating. That is a ridiculous way to live. And that standard that you guys intentionally try to put on everybody else is not going to fly. That is not how the rest of the world works. It's just not. And so if you think of all places that you can come to social media and somehow find a safe space here, I'm sorry. It just, that's, that's not a thing. That's not a thing in real life either. So I don't know what you expected. Like if, if you are a content creator and you go live and you give your opinion about something, guess what? It's not open to criticism. Anybody can come along and either agree, disagree, or have some other opinion in the middle. And that's their prerogative to do so. You get up there every day on your channel, Betty, and you are constantly giving your opinions about everybody else. Constantly giving your views, giving your judgments about everybody else. And I don't mean judgments in a negative connotation, but in a human connotation. And you say, that's work. I'm working. This is my job. This is my company. And yet, when somebody else gives their opinion, because you don't like it and it hurts your feelings, all of a sudden now you're labeling it as stalking, as harassment, as bullying, as hate. And it seems like all the people that you've now surrounded yourself with are people who are also saying that if you disagree with Betty, you're now a hater and therefore you're some kind of evil demonic entity. Like, it's insane to me. And then you want to say that all the rest of us need to grow up? No, you need to fucking grow up. If you can't handle basic criticism, if you can't handle people calling you out for the shit that you do, then maybe you shouldn't be on YouTube. Because you have two choices as a content creator. Grow thicker skin or log off. That is the choice that I have every time somebody makes a fucking two, three hour live stream with my name in the title or somebody brings me up on their stream out of no, nowhere talking shit or talking shit in a chat, whatever. That's fine. Do you see me crying about it? No. Do you see me trying to copyright strike them? No, the fuck I do not. Do you see me threatening to sue them? Nope. You're the one that's doing that, though. But you want to be up here and be like, oh, I'm Bet Betty Bullhorn. Nobody fucking messes with me, blah, 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 blah. And then the second that somebody calls you out for your lies, you're like, they're bullying me. And then you're suing people. It's ridiculous. And I was raised to respect my elders. So I say this with all respect to you and all the women that seem to call into your channel, at least the ones that you allow to call in. Your echo chamber the people that kiss your ass and agree with you, those are the people that call in. But all the women that call in, y'all seem to be considerably older than I am. And yet y'all all act like a bunch of fucking children, petulant children, 
Because the second that somebody disagrees with you, has a different uh, belief system, different worldview, now you're calling them demonic. Now you're calling them haters. Now you're saying that they're bullies, et cetera, et cetera. And there's a reason why I'm saying this is because we're going to get to the next clip now where she is talking to somebody on the phone. Oh, my God. You know? So, much like your grandmother. so we're going to get to that. You know, but you know what I'm saying? And that's really how the conversation would have gone. I wouldn't have went to a shit show unless she started arguing with me because you don't argue with me. Right. So here's Billy Bat. Oh, you don't argue with me. Okay. Keep that same energy then. And this was from the 19th, the next day. Here, she says some crazy wild ass out of pocket shit. And I haven't seen anybody review this because I think that it was just, it was like in the middle of like a three and a half hour stream. It was incredibly boring, but I was just listening to it and it caught my attention and I wanted to play it. And I hope other people have some commentary about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, I, I, and I'm starting to believe that to be true, that there is a network, an underground network of these people. We know that it has to exist. I mean, there's got to be a way that these people are communicating and passing around, kind of like how the hate channels, the hate channels are taking these, these pedos philosophy and doing all this stuff behind these back channels. Did y'all hear what the fuck she just said? I'll play it again. Not a problem. I'll just play it again. Brown network of these people. We Sorry, I'll go from the very beginning. How about that? Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I, I, and I'm starting to believe that to be true, that there is a network, an underground network of these people. We know that it has to exist. I mean, there's got to be a way that these people are communicating and passing around, kind of like how the hate channels, the hate channels are taking these, these pedos philosophy and doing all this stuff behind these back channels. And Let me tell you something, Betty. You better hope that you don't ever dox me. Because if you do, I'm going to take this and all the other things that you have said about me. And I'm going to absolutely sue the fuck out of you. I hope you know that. Also, thanks, because this will more than likely be used against you in court in about mm, six days. So now it's not good enough to call the people that disagree with you haters, bullies, demonic. Now you're calling them the P word. Really? Really? You know, it's really interesting to me, just, you know, just a thought. It's really weird how you are continuously bringing up that subject. It's like on the tip of your tongue. It's on the, the edge of your brain. Whenever you get mad at someone, that's the first topic that you go to. Why are you always thinking about that, Betty? That's my question. I got lots of questions because when I get mad at someone, that is not something that ever crosses my mind. Crazy, right? And this is the bitch that's trying to sue other people for defamation. Betty, you do realize that this is the example of defamation. This is demonstrably false and can be easily disproven. Wow. So that's where we're going now. Now we're going to start calling people the P word because they hurt your delicate feelings. Wow. Okay. I mean, do you, I guess. <laughs> wow. Yes, Peggy, projection. Sometimes projection, Betty. I'm not even going to finish that. But the saying is projection is really a confession. In this case, I'm going to say I got a lot of questions why you are constantly bringing this up because either you're the one who's hiding something or you have some things that are unresolved that you need to go to therapy for. Either way, to be saying that shit to other people just because you don't like them is foul. It's vile. It's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wow. Okay. 
Who is she speaking about? She's talking about all of the haters. That's who she's talking about. So before I, she accused me of having some secret discord where I sit around and plot her demise. Um, except here's the thing. I don't have a discord. I don't have a server. I have never had a discord server. I have an account where I'm a guest on other people's servers, but I don't actually have a server of my own. And the servers that I'm in, they don't even know who the fuck Betty is. They don't know her. They don't, they don't watch her. It's completely different people about completely different things. But now we're going to go even further and say, oh, not only do these people have Discord servers, but now they're, they're in these back channels, whatever the fuck that is, accusing people of being the P word now. Wow. Okay. All right. Just remember that, Betty. And I can't believe you were so fucking stupid. You put the other one behind a paywall, but you left this one up public. <laughs> God, you were dumb. But please keep talking. Keep talking. Stuff like that anonymously and stuff. You know, those those hate channels might be a way of, of exploring this a little bit. Maybe they need to explain how this all works. How can people be, oh. you know, undercover and, and, mm. and have these back channels? But I do believe, and I think many other... So now, not only are we P-words doing all of these P-word philosophies, whatever that means, but now we should tell the cops how to catch P-words because we're doing the same things. Are you fucking for real right now? Wow. Okay. And yes, I did see that. Uh, Y'all, Nana's not drunk. I'm not sure if you remember. She said that she believed Billy Joe essayed both of her kids because they both unalived their children. I did. I remember her saying, saying that. And I think I even called it out. There are a bunch of people who did. So now you're going to run around defaming everybody else. So that's where we're at right now, right? Okay. I wonder where you go from here, Betty. <laughs> I wonder where you go. Thank you, just a YouTuber. Welcome to the dumpster fire. People believe that this was a network of people. This wasn't just one, uh, one or two. I think that they work together uh, and do this all over the country. I really do. Oh, so we work together and do this all over the country. Are you listening to yourself? Seriously, Betty, either you need to turn yourself in or you need to seek a therapist. I'm leaning towards a therapist. I think you need to talk to somebody, a professional. You know those people that you shit on, that you were shitting on today, saying that these people with PhDs and education, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're going to help you with a book. What a dumbass thing to say, by the way. But yeah, you need to go see one of those professionals with a PhD and a license, because you clearly need to talk to somebody. If this is the first thing that your mind goes to the second that you get mad at somebody. And if you are entertaining these thoughts, these fucking weird conspiracy theories about people online to the point where you are vocalizing defamatory things about them, you need to go talk to somebody. It's just a piece in me well, that I, I, I just have in my gut. Oh, you're and she was, I, she was talking to somebody and I, I cut them out. So, wow. Yeah, I definitely wanted to show you guys that because that's ridiculous. What county in Illinois? Uh, Knox County, I believe. Yet she, and yet she had no problem with Dolly's brother when she was infatuated with him. There was a couple of streams where she was talking about uh, how RSOs shouldn't be RSOs forever and that some, it should ex expire eventually. And I'm like, mm, okay, mm, all right, all right. I just, I, that is, that is so out of line, right? To be now throwing that around, okay. Thank you, Nanny G. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. She is zero self-awareness scary. She really does. And it will be her downfall. Seriously. Uh, yeah, it's a big yikes. <laughs> it's definitely a big yikes. Yeah, she actually said that. Mm -hmm. It was quite some time ago. 
I have a PhD and know that Georgia is both a state and a country. Wow, look at there. Happy birthday, by the way, Glitter Bomb. I completely agree with you. RSO cannot be rehabilitated. I agree with that. I agree. That's just my opinion. Oh, euthanized children, but RSOs. <laughs> I mean, again, I got questions. She wants people to explain how the internet works, like email and Facebook Messenger and Discord. There are elusive mysteries to her. I mean, I find it interesting that she's having all this, like, behind-the-scenes conversations, just like everybody else does. It's called the internet. But somehow the idea of other people having email conversations or something is somehow, now it's demonic, and now, now it's the P word. Okay, girl. All right. I mean, she couldn't figure out Google Drive. <laughs> Very true. I'm sure that she looks at various social media platforms she's not uh, familiar with, and it's like, oh, it must be evil. Oh, no. Uh, she doesn't think any financial crimes should deserve jail. Yeah, and then she was saying today, like, she has, like, a really weird understanding of a lot of things. And I honestly don't know if it's reading comprehension issues or if she's just pers pers like, like purposely being lazy when she's reading. I, I don't know. But she will read something and then misconstrue it as she's reading it. For instance, like she was saying that basically somebody who steals a candy bar is going to go to like prison. I'm like, no, they may go to jail. Maybe they'll get arrested and charged with theft. I guess it just depends on the situation. But I have never heard of someone going to prison, like an actual hard prison for five, 10 years for stealing a candy bar. That's not a thing. That's not a felony. So I just, I don't understand that. The only thing I could think of is that if you have like two felonies already and then you get caught stealing a Snickers bar or something, but that's, again, that's a misdemeanor, I think, in most places. So again, I don't, <laughs> I don't know where she's getting that from. And then she ranted over and over about how the prison system is fucked up, which it is, but she was using the example of somebody stealing a candy bar and going to prison. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if that's the argument that you should be making about that. She also thinks that all prisons are private and that is also not true. So she makes a lot of general sweeping statements that are just not true most of the time. I call top bunk. We're all going to physical jail. That's right, PB Gate. We're going to be roomies. But this is the person who wants people arrested with no evidence of any crime. And also the person, and it's in my shorts on my channel, where she said, according to her, you are guilty until she deems you innocent. Those are her words. Shoplifting can get a parole revoked. You'd serve the rest of your life on the original charge. Exactly. And that's the only circumstance I can think of is that, again, somebody has like two felonies already, they're on parole, and they get caught stealing a Snickers bar or whatever, some kind of candy bar, and they end up going back to prison because they offended again. They're not going back to prison, again, back to prison, not because of the Snickers bar or the Reese cups, it's because of the original charge. But I've never heard of somebody walking into, say, you know, a 7-Eleven and stealing a Snickers bar and then going to prison? Like, that's not a thing. Southern states have weird combo things, like Layla has a felony for taking a few snacks because it was employee theft. Mm. I Well, yeah, that's interesting. I guess if you're an employee, they count it as worse than the customer? I don't know. I think somebody tagged me up here. Uh, we have court uh, September 27th. Thank you, Burnt Toast, for all your love and support. And everyone in here, it means so much. Thank you so much. It sucks that you're the one that's in this position, honestly. But um, regardless, whoever it was in your position, I would help in the same way because this is bullshit. Absolutely bullshit. 
weaponized incompetence. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, OBHB is far from a very weak woman. I am three years older than her and smack my head at her or hit my head. What a shame she is to our generation of women. She is definitely a child that has to be coddled. It And that's the crazy thing is like, I just, I don't understand the dynamic between her and her mother and how her mother is constantly like coddling her and making excuses for her. And then her mother is running around TikTok and YouTube, inserting herself in the drama. That is crazy to me. My mother would never, ever do that. <laughs> right? Literally, literally, right now, at, at this very moment, there are 800 and, I mean, 988 people from all over the world anonymously congregating on an internet platform to co-op, to co-op, cooperatively drag this shit out of Betty. You're right. My chat, my chat. It's so ridiculous. Like, this is social media. What did you think this is? Her mom on TikTok is fascinating to me. See, I had, I haven't even paid attention to her mom, but then her mom starts coming over to my channel. I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, and you think now that sometime, somehow you're going to get a pass. No, no. You're going to leave comments in my chat. I'm going to talk about it. I can't believe she's only five years older than my son. She looks 60. I mean, my mom doesn't even know what TikTok is. <laughs> my mom does. She's pretty hip, but um, this that's funny. Her mom throwing shade by sending those cuff earrings. <laughs> Betty too dumb to realize that. You know what, blank screen? I was wondering if her mom was trolling her with that. That's fucked up. Imagine in your life, you don't have to say it, but imagine something that you deeply regret doing, like something that you are ashamed of, that you just regret. And it's something that it's just not something that you really ever even want to talk about anymore because you're just so ashamed that you did it. And imagine your mom getting you earrings that represent that thing. It's fucked up if you think about it. Maybe mama is scared to death if BHB fails at her newfound job. <laughs> BHB will lose her house and move back in with mama and start uh, abusing mama again. And just my opinion. Well, I think her uh, Betty's house is paid off. Like she's talked about her house is paid off. And she's talked about how like she's done some things to like protect her house. So regardless of what happens in court, she's not going to lose her house. It's already It's already paid off. And I don't think that they're going to be able to put a lien on it. So, the, yeah, exactly. The apple don't fall far from the tree. And that right. It was her ex-husband's house. Yes, it was. And then it was transferred over to her at some point. So she is, she is the owner and it's free and clear. Part of the divorce. Yeah, I think that's what happened. <laughs> Parents don't tell their children anything they do. I have grown children here at here. Yet here I am. Taxes must take it. Not sure. Her comment section about to be filled with your mama jokes. Oh, your mama jokes. Oh, my God. And you know what? She wouldn't even get it. She'd be like, oh, my God. <gasps> They're attacking me. Relax. It's called sarcasm. But she will have to pay somehow when she loses the case. Yes. Um, I have no idea how it's going to work out. But my guess, my opinion, allegedly, in Minecraft, is that they might be able to put a lien on her YouTube checks, put a lien on, like, her Cash App, her Venmo, all of those things she won't be protected from, and she can't file for bankruptcy. She will not be able to get out of it if she loses, because it will be tort. So you can't, you can't like, be like, oh, I'm poor, I can't pay this. That, that's not going to work in that particular type of case. So it will definitely be taken out. Um, it, it'll be taken out of something. A six-day count she countdown she has even compiled with submitting the bill of particulars. So, and this is what I will leave you with today. One of the things that the judge is going to be ruling on, actually it's two things. There's a bunch of things, right? But the two main things that I'm really interested in seeing what happens is this. One 
is the judge going to tell her, hey, you got to write a bill of particulars? So that's number one. So it'd be interesting to see if she's forced to do that. And two, if the judge does in fact compel her for all the discovery stuff where she has to turn in her medical records and her financial records, which means her Google AdSense account and her bank records and her mental health records and um, all the text messages, emails, DMs, all those private conversations, Betty, that you think are demonic when everybody else does it, you would have to turn in all of those conversations that you've had with all of your friends and all of your mods and all of these people back and forth. Uh, if it, if y'all talked about the case or anything involving anything within the scope of what the case is looking for, you got to turn all of that in. So I don't think that she's going to do that. <laughs> I could be wrong, but we'll have to see. But I'm, those are the two things that I'm really like, oh, I can't wait to hear what the judge says about them. Did the family BHB made flyers for actually get them? I have no idea. That was another weird thing because first she said she raised a certain amount of money from her audience and she went to a company and could only afford to do like a portion of what she originally wanted. I don't remember what the exact number was. But then later she talked about how she ran out of ink in her printer. So I have no idea if she was implying that she printed them or if she just said that. Sometimes she will conflate multiple things together and it's hard to tell what the fuck she's talking about. Can you change your channel to underground toast? Oh my God. I'm going to change that right now. Well, the, the, the headline optional yeah, thing. Underground toast. There you go. I may even create a new avatar. Shh, maybe I'll do that my next stream. I'll now be undercover toast with a new avatar. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys have a fantastic night. And wow, I look forward to some of the people in here that said they were going to be dropping some clips. Please do that because uh, when people lie, they should be called out. That's my opinion. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Monday. But feel free to contact me if you have a question about something. I'll see you in my comment section. You guys have a fantastic weekend. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. I would not have a channel without you guys. So just know that I have a channel because you guys show up and I really appreciate it. And that's it. Later. So I'm in a closet somewhere. A lot of what I'm talking about today is coming um <laughs> cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. Cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> Cream that I'm taking and is making me very tired. So, you know, um, uh, hello everyone, welcome to our uh, GTV. I'm Jimmy, your host. No, 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 no. Balls. Your sperm's probably gonna be strong enough. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. Cream on me when I came out the closet. You know what I mean? Jimmy's, Jimmy's finally coming out the closet or something like that and it's making me very tired so i swallow I, I, come. come you can sing it cream on my back <sighs> okay okay and this cream i swallow cum cream on my back <sighs> cream that i'm taking you can sing it cream on my back <sighs> okay okay and this cream i swallow cum cream on my back <sighs> Dream that I'm taking and it's making me very tired. So I can literally prove right now that I'm as straight as a doorknob. And I'm gonna get what's coming to me. No! Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking.
Hey man, got cream on him coming out the closet. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You can sing it. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You know what I mean? You are revealing to yourself and to a lot of the world out there who and what you really are. I'm in the closet somewhere.